Hello and welcome to another story. Today's tale is again from Chief Leluska and is a story from the Northwest Coastal Indigenous Peoples. This one is called The Ant and the Bear. Into the newly created world came Wone, the changer. It was he who set the world right. Wone piled up earth and made the mountains. He planted trees on the hills and in the valleys. He planted all the edible roots that we now use for food. Then Wone took a stick and dug the rivers, and he called the salmon forth from the sea to feed the children of men. After Wone had grown weary of all his good work, he called upon the animal people to help him make rules for the new world. One of the most important decisions was the proper length for the daylight and the dark. For in that time the daylight came and went as it pleased. A day might last a whole season, or be as quick as a blink of the eye. Clearly something needed to be done, so Wone chose Ant and Bear for the task. Bear was big and fat and lazy. He yawned, scratched himself, and looked down at the tiny ant, the little sky yak, and said in a deep, gruff voice, I am Chetwin. I am the bear. I think half the year should be dark, and half of it light. Then we bears could sleep for half the year, and eat for the other half. Ant was a scrawny little fellow and he had a habit of tugging nervously at his belt when he talked. But Ant was also proud and stubborn. He was not about to let Bear decide anything for him. Ant pulled himself up as tall as he could and shouted up to the great bear, No, no, never do, never do, never do. We must have Kai Tachila, Kai Tachila, Chow Wow Chaloose. We must have daylight and dark. Daylight and dark, every day. Bear, who was used to having his own way, leaned down and stared in Ant's face. Yo yucks, sky, tache, he growled. Half of the year dark and half of it light. And so the argument went on. Ant began to jump up and down in excitement, all the while yanking nervously at his belt and squeaking at the top of his voice. Daylight and dark. Daylight and dark, every day. Bear became very angry. He roared louder and louder. Half the year dark, and half of it light. On and on they shouted. How long they argued, no one knows, because there was no proper length for the daylight and the dark. At last, Bear grew weary. All right, Aunt, have it your way, he said. Daylight and dark every day. But we bears will have it our way, too. We will go into the mountains and sleep for half the year. Then we will wake up and eat. Bear began to lumber away. Then he turned back to Ant. And do you know what we will eat, Ant? asked Bear with a big grin. We will eat you and all your relatives. We will tear open the old rotten logs and find you and eat you. No, no, you will not, cried Ant. We will grow wings and fly away. And so little Ant won the argument. There would be daylight and dark every day. Ant was pleased with himself, but then he looked down at his waist. In his excitement and all that yanking on his belt, Ant had cinched himself up so tight that he was almost cut in two. Ant had paid an awful price for his victory. He was left with the little skinny waist that all ants have to this very day. We know this story must be true, because ants do have tiny waists. They do grow wings and fly out of old rotten logs in the late summer, and bears do rumble off into the mountains and sleep for half the year. Most of all, we know it is true because we have daylight and dark every single day. Snip, snap, snout. Now this tale's told out.